So after cellular destruction and damage and inflammation, get that so far, your body calls upon the immune system to help battle. You have enlisted your profoundly powerful immune system. It's amazingly complex. Interestingly, your immune system is made strong by what you were exposed to as a child. The dirt, the bugs, these all activate your immune system. Be careful with the antiseptic, antibacterial things, right? Exposure to the world around you has, up, has an updating effect on your immune system. So it is with foods to a point. When you reach the tipping point of cellular destruction, you will have a hypervigilant, overworked, overstressed immune system, leading to autoimmunity in the case I will describe. Your, your immune system, by its amazing ability, makes antibodies to capture these stray proteins, particularly gluten antigens, and wipes them out. That's its job. It keeps invaders out. Is anyone here dairy free? Here is why we're dairy free. Casein, the protein in dairy, is also a large molecule and it's difficult to break down. You've heard of lactose intolerance? If you are lactose intolerant, you have a bad gut. You don't have this milk enzyme to break down milk. You don't feel well, that's why. But worse, casein, the dairy protein, is very similar in molecular structure as is gluten, and your body makes antibodies to capture these wandering proteins as well. If it makes one set for gluten, it may make another set for casein. Your immune system may, may also be so ramped up that it may be making antibodies to a whole list of foods like rice and corn and oats and on and on. People are food sensitive. This is a very powerful reason why. So to summarize, Large protein molecules, it's simple. Large protein molecules and for, foreign protein molecules like genetically modified foods, like microbes, bacteria, viruses, punch through the intestinal lining, causing your body to make antibodies. Have you heard of leaky gut? That's what I'm talking about. And you'll hear it in about two years because they're making a drug for it right now. Sad. Leaky gut happens when you have intestinal breakdown. Remember we called it enteropathy? You don't need to know that. Your intestinal lining has been punched through in many areas for a long time. Now the real bad news is that in addition to making antibodies to gluten and other antigens, over time you will make antibodies to your own tissues, to your own self. That's called autoimmune. Autoimmune. Now we have entered into the world of chronic degenerative diseases. Rheumatoid antibodies destroy joints and give pain. See the correlation. Intrinsic blocking, intrinsic factor blocking antibodies give tissue destruction we call pernicious anemia. Multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune attack on your brain and nerves. It's all the same thing. If you have hyper and hypothyroid symptoms, good chance you have auto and antibodies attacking your thyroid gland. We call it Hashimoto's thyroiditis, but it's an autoimmune attack on your thyroid. See how we name everything? 